Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey y'all, hope y'all are doing good today. I want to quickly address this Romeo Master P drama. And I'll probably go deeper when I do a live stream. But if you guys do not know, four days ago, uh, Romeo took to social media and he basically called out Master P. And a lot of us were really shocked. So what happened is that Master P had posted a video of Snoop Dogg and DJ Twitch. And we all know DJ Twitch recently committed the S word um, last week. And he always seemed very happy. So people were really shocked by DJ Twitch's death. So this is what Master P says. He says, rest in peace to the one and only dancing hashtag DJ Twitch and salute at Snoop Dogg for celebrating him. These are crazy times we are living in. You can be smiling one day and gone the next. Life is too short. Appreciate your loved ones. Hashtag mental illness is real. Shout out to at Post Malone and at Dre London coming together with me for a cause. Hashtag God is good. So when Romeo saw that, Romeo was not feeling that message. And so this is what Romeo said. He says, today was a boiling point. I seen a man avoid his own children's struggle with suicide and depression, but post another man whom passed today that he doesn't even know. Y'all idols be lost. Better stop following the blind. Watch when it's revealed. So when Romeo said that, I was definitely shocked. Um, this is what I wrote on Instagram. I said, wow, this is serious. I would have never thought I'd see the day that Romeo went against P publicly. He's clearly hurt and tired of Master P acting one way in public and another way around his family. So that was a few days ago. And so Master P, of course, took to social media to address the situation. So after Romeo wrote that, Master P took to his own um, Instagram page and basically in his stories, he was Satan, you are a liar. I love y'all and Jesus loves you too. Keep keep being a blessing and more blessings will come to you. Now he posted that on his Instagram page. So a lot of people thought that that was his response to Romeo. So of course the shape room, they took a screenshot of it and they took to their platform and they said, Master P seemingly replies to little Romeo. And so the shade room has since taken down the post because master P went off. He said that he wasn't talking about his son. And then he called shade room, the devil. And then he went on this long rant with a box of cereal next to him. Child, you can't make this shit up. So master P writes the messy bloggers at the shade room. Y'all are real people hiding behind computers. Y'all have families and no family is perfect, rich or poor. I wouldn't wish my pain or tragedy on anyone's family. So have some compassion and integrity. Y'all took my happy Friday post where the lady was singing the devil is a lie and made a twisted story out of it, posting a picture of me, making it seem like I'm calling someone a devil, which you guys are telling a lie and sparking other sites to grab false misleading stories, spreading lies and gossip. The shade room never posted anything about about when we went up against one of the biggest serial companies in the world. This is how you know that you're doing God's work when the devil tries to attack you through your family and miscommunication and lies. It's sad how the bloggers and the media glorify gossip and make it news when there are real issues going on in society that need more attention. My family has been through a lot this year and we are still grieving over the loss of my daughter. I am respectfully requesting that the media will give our family some privacy to work through some family issues. This will be the only time I will speak on this matter. I'm a God fearing man. I'm never considered myself an idol. I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of mistakes. People can slander my name and gossip about me. I can lose it all, start back over and still be happy. My true passion and purpose is helping people. Every day is a blessing. The only thing I regret about my parenting is that I try to shield my children from pain or hardship when those consequences could have been learning experiences to help them be more humble and grind. I try to give them a better life, protecting them from a hard life, which probably spoiled some of them and produced an entitlement mentality. All my kids are grown, and now some of them have their own kids. I pray that their parenting skills will be better than mine. Unforgiveness leads to bitterness and stops you from receiving greater blessings. I love my family unconditionally. 
Thank you all for the prayers and support. Mental illness is real. It's affecting so many families. So that is what he wrote. And then he went on to sit on the steps next to a box of Snoop cereal. Um, Cause you know, he can't just talk without promoting something. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Enough is enough. I put up a post with a lady singing the devil is alive. The shade room take the post, put a picture of me saying masterpiece and such and such is the devil, which is a lie. All y'all do is twist the truth for what clips, controversy, gossip. I mean, all the good stuff I've done, nobody never posted nothing. You never posted when we went up against one of the biggest cereal companies in the world. You never posted when we had to change our name and made history and got one of the biggest distribution deals in the world. I guess that wasn't controversial enough. But I just asked the Shade Room, all the other media outlets, to allow my family to grieve and get through this pain that we're going through because I wouldn't wish this pain on no family, not none of y'all. I know God is going to guide us through this. I had a mental illness concert that was going to be on January 13th, which DJ Twitch was supposed to be a special guest. Snoop was supposed to be a special guest. It was with me, ASAP Rock, and Post Malone. Mental illness is real. It's destroying families. I'm going to continue to get out there and do my part. I just want to say I love everybody that's been praying for my family. Y'all know we're going to get through this. Um, Losing a child, and I don't know parents that lost a child. People want you to grieve a certain way, do certain things. I mean, my healing comes through helping people, touching people, getting out there. Maybe I couldn't save the people's lives in my family. Maybe people in my family don't listen. I love them. I always deal with people and deal with family members that go through different things and handle things certain ways. I'm going to continue to put my trust and faith in God. We're going to continue growing as a family. No family is perfect. Rich or poor, we're all going to go through things. I'm not God. I'm no idol. All I can do is help the people that allow me to help. So then on top of him going off on the shade room, Master P also wrote this. This new generation of kids needs to stop blaming their parents for everything. How do you think they got to where they're at without their parents making sacrifices for them? Mental illness is real, and so many families are tragically affected by it, especially when there is added trauma like death of a loved one. Social media is not the place for healing. Son, I love you. Stop trying to get people to feel sorry for you, and let's come up with a solution. You can come talk to your father and your family like a man. You have kids too. No family is perfect, but together with God, we can heal and get through this. Then he says, I wouldn't wish this on no parent, especially when you try to do everything you can for your kids. At Romeo Miller, what's the plan? You are either part of the problem or the solution. I love you and the door is always open for you, but I won't tolerate disrespect. I haven't talked to you or seen you in months. God knows I've tried to do my best. So after that, Romeo decided to respond to his father, and this is what he said. Romeo said, this is my last straw, Pop. Stop trying to play victim. I loved you so much that I followed you blindly for 30-plus years. You know we've taught behind closed doors. You aren't the man who you paint to be, and why is it war? Because I refuse to follow your lead. You only want to protect your image, but the image isn't even real. And I don't need anyone to feel sorry for me, Pops. I'm truly a man of God. If you are really a man of God, then you will prevail in the end. Even when I share my truth, I've tried to keep things in-house. You are addicted to social media and unfortunately use this app as therapy. 3,000 plus posts. I am when the world finds out about the finances outside of a gift of a car. I've never been paid for anything I've accomplished as little Romeo. Uncle C and Silk No, you only pay outsiders rightfully so they'll speak good on your name. I'm at peace because I can now speak my truth and help others. Mom was always right. Your pride is everything. Romeo also took to Masterpiece comments and he started replying back to fans. So one fan named Caroline says, Now nah, I feel you, P. You gave them kids a good life and opportunities. What they do with it is on them. They ain't come up poor or need for anything. So Romeo replies back and says, at Caroline, all my siblings are broke, bro. Never even had money to afford college, and nothing is wrong with that. He shouldn't paint a certain life that isn't real. One big house to stunt in is a minimum way of thinking. 
Then somebody else says, had a better life than me. I don't blame my peoples. And then Romeo says, man, we've been living month to month since I was 18. Shit's a mirage. Somebody else says, you set the foundation financially for the family. We can all agree on, but it's more to that than just money. My only gripe is with the older generation. Just because money was put down doesn't mean it's enough. Other than that, I hope y'all solve y'all's family issues privately. God bless you all. God bless y'all. Romeo says, I've been taking care of my props, bro. Never touch no little Romeo money. All went to pay off his IRS taxes. I've been more than loyal. The truth will set us free, though. Then Romeo took to his Instagram page and he wrote the following. When others use their platform and voice, it's inspiring. But when I speak my truth, I'm told I'm disrespectful and entitled. For my family, I'm willing to be the villain, though, if that's what it takes, just because no matter how long, good will always prevail. Just want to make it clear that I will always love my father, but that doesn't mean I have to follow him. I'm 33 years old, and for me personally, my feelings have nothing to do with the death of my sister. No one is to blame for certain decisions she made as an adult. Our family needing our family needing shaking way before the tragedy. And at least now I know she's finally at peace. I've dealt with death before and it's inevitable. But my daughter coming into this world was my awakening of having to get things right from the start. If we don't learn from our parents' mistake, then how do we truly grow? Just like one day my daughter will learn from mine. That's generational wealth. I can't force an adult to do something they don't believe, but the day my dad accepts to begin healing with his family with professional help rather than only just him is the day this family will begin healing. We've had the talks in private. Now we are here. There will be growth from this chapter, no matter the outcome. Blessings. Then he went on to share a poem. The poem was called The Tree of Trauma. And he writes, Dear Giants, why do you want to be patted on the back so badly for doing good? When, as God-fearing men and women, we are supposed to do that? Why do you feel the need to promote and hold a product in every interview just to validate your worth? Don't people see that? How is the media one day your best friend? And then the next, liars. Rather, it's part of the past or present. Karma has never been known to be a liar. So why complain when we signed up for the job that reads no privacy required? How are we in a household of God and can't even pray for the lost ones that's kin to me? How, how come it took my daughter to be born to finally realize that we have blindly been feeding the enemy? How, if I really speak my truth, my family legacy will crumble? That's like telling a boxer he has no right to rumble. Imagine telling a butterfly she has no right to fly and that that butterfly has died before she even died. Why is being right to strangers so much more important than being vulnerable at home? Probably because a little boy is just in a body that's grown. Heal, kid, heal. It's the only way to really feel. Why is it that I'm soaring and my siblings are not? Probably because our father didn't give them the same time on the clock. Chase the money or chase the family. You can't do both because now you're gambling. Why is it that you can't take the same heat as our mother can? Mama weathered the dragging of the media for years with no voice because she didn't kneel to no man. It's no challenge. The power of woman outweighs the power of man. It is okay to ridicule one in public for their mistakes, but protect others because of his role. My mother was broken for years publicly and still from the concrete she rose. If people really knew your truth, you'd be strong like mama too. Although she might not be known for gold, no matter what the family put her through, her heart never turned blue. Regardless of the damage, just look deep because behind every great king, there was a queen that carried on his curses that were never seen. I write this because although I didn't live the life that may have been painted in the scenes, I do understand compared to most that me and my father have lived the American dream. But what about the ones behind us that were never seen? Just look between the lines of day and night, no matter what you preach, that is how you save a life. I've tried, I've tried behind the walls that hide, but maybe social media is the only way to open up this giant's eyes. So that was a poem that he wrote 
called The Tree of Trauma. And then he also wrote this a poem because poetry is one of the most powerful forms of therapy. Let's educate and break these cycles together. Your mental health is just like a muscle that needs to be built and treated. The next generation will grow stronger because of truths. As a man of God, I know minds will one day too the tree of trauma. So now after that back and forth on social media, a lot of people were like in shock and blown away. And so this is what I said. And like I said, I'll probably go deeper on a live stream. But I wrote this. I said, I remember when WAC 100 said Master P was broke and everybody thought WAC was hating. I have been peeped the way Master P be moving and constantly trying to shame the black community for not buying his shoes, rice boxes, noodles, and cereal. Yes, we should support black owned brands. But if folks don't, you can't go on tirades shaming black folks about it all the time. Now Romeo is saying that P spent his money and all his kids are struggling. Shake my head. This is sad because that man has touched millions of dollars over the years. And this is why I say everything that glitters isn't gold. He also treated his full black daughters very differently from how he treated his Blasian side baby. If y'all don't know, Symphonique is his side baby. Uh, this caused a lot of turmoil with the sisters, but folks ain't ready for that conversation. I hope they talk and find some healing. This is sad as fuck when it's all said and done. So then after that, Master P decided to go on one last um, rant on social media, basically, um, you know, trying to apologize. And you see people on there like Diddy writing love, love, love. A few people told Diddy to shut the F up. Deion Sanders was also on there saying preach. Eddie Griffin was saying respect the love. Uh, the Lily from SWV said this is so deep. People will use you until you have no battery left. So you see a lot of the celebrity parents on here. Um, even T.I. was on here. And it seems like maybe a lot of them are going through this with their children as well. You know, there was a lot of celebrities that came through. Um, the whole situation is very, very sad. Everybody's really shocked by this. But let me go ahead and play you guys what Master P had to say. Today is a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the Internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo, like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30-something-year-old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people. But you can't get mad at me, because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch, uh, post that I put up and I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought she was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know debt, it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world. Now I can get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you got to do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about this, this is what the people want to see. They want to see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you going to do for the rest of the family? Are you going to take care? You told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid $10, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff, poking and having fun. Y'all can, but I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. 
Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now, but I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We stronger together. But you older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we can get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God going to do what he got to do. You know? I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever. That's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace. All right. So you guys just watched that video. And since then, he's just been posting motivational quotes. One from Kobe. Uh, of course, he had to shout out his Moneta shoe brand. Um, Experience. Is he posted something from T.D. Jakes and Steve Harvey. Little Romeo has been quiet since, but it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but y'all go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire drama that just basically blew up the past four days between Master P and Romeo. Um, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm also not shocked. Um, there's been a lot of stuff brewing underneath the surface for years, especially concerning his daughters. Um... And just, I'm not even going to go into it into this video because this video will be an hour long and I'm not doing all that. But y'all go ahead, leave a comment, like the video, share the video. Let me know y'all's thoughts. I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.